Well, it's been a slow month. There's been some deaths and a couple of new fish, so let's take a look. Let's start with this 20 long. I've moved all the Blue Dream shrimp over to this tank on the shrimp rack. Um, these few plants, I got a petco. They're starting to grow out, but coming along slowly. All right, now uh, the Shrimp King tank. I added a few more Blue Dream shrimp in here as well. The Java moss is about the only thing that's been growing in here though. The firecracker guppies doing well. They had a couple batches of fry this month. And here they're all up front begging for food. So I've got four full grown females pumping out babies pretty regularly. Uh, two batches this month that I noticed at least. Uh, and these guys are doing well. Rearing up their eggs. This is my only female that has managed to tend to her eggs for several days. She got them to the wiggler stage a couple weeks ago and then they disappeared. So we're making progress. She's doing better than my other pairs. Uh, down here we've got the algae farm with some supposed to be koi uh, angels but they've got a lot of yellow in them they haven't turned orange not sure if that comes along later so I'm starting to wonder about the pear up above um, down here peppercories they don't do much but hide in the sponge filter. And the fire red shrimp. They're doing pretty well. Growing a few plants. Making a few babies. This tank used to house the Blue Dream Shrimp. I just cleaned it out yesterday and get it ready for something. Not sure what I'm putting in there yet. This is the koi pear. The male. Very skittish since I put this slate in the corner. He hides in there. But they're the parents of the, the young angels I just showed. And I'm not sure how they would come out just gold marble, if that's it, or if the orange would come out later. Uh, a double dark Pinoy pair. They had a batch of eggs just about a week ago. Oh, I didn't show them at the rack over here. I was got one of the tubs that Hypnotic Aquatics uses. Got a heater. I just don't have a box filter to put in here, but I've managed to get them up to Wigglers. Yeah, you should be able to see wiggling. Again, the these Pinoy angels have very poor hatching rates. They lay 900 some eggs, but in this batch I only got 48 uh, wigglers to grow out of it. The very first batch they laid for me had a couple hundred wigglers. 
which was real good, but then uh, they all died when the airline in the spawning jar, or rearing jar, came disconnected, so they all suffocated. This tank's nothing. It had the angel babies. Down here, I completely rescaped, or not rescaped, but cleaned it out, added sand, a few plants. Corey recently had an episode on pothos. I mentioned it'll grow underwater, so I took a stem of it, plopped it in here, see how well it grows. Uh, there's some other mystery plant from Petco, a few Anubias, there's Nana Petites, uh, Coffee Folia, I think that one was just a regular Nana, but it's been struggling. So I put it here with a bunch of angels and hoping that they put out enough nitrate to take care of it. I made a little cave out of a few rocks, slapped some java moss on top, but these quarries don't care for hiding so much as my other various quarries. Uh, it looks like the quarries have some getting ready to spawn here. She's cleaning off various leaves and the angels following right behind, ready to gobble up. Uh, oh, there's a sighting of one of my green dragon bristle nose. There's three in here somewhere. Even with minimal coverage, it's still hard to find them. <laughs> uh, oh, there's one way back there on the net and filter. This tote down here, I took out all the quarries, sold them at a recent auction. It's just some of the pink ram's horn snails. Oh, speaking of the auction, I got these two nice coverage koi female, the auction said, angels, along with a couple more Anubias. Uh, here's the latest batch of koi fry. See their body already showing a bit of orange tint to them unlike those other ones which confuses me but anyway nothing in there oh well here we can show my uh, the wingless fruit fly farm this one's growing good. After 10 days, these little cocoons started appearing. And now, about a week later, they're hatching. Uh, oh, this one too, just, it didn't have these cocoons yesterday. So just during the night, right here. So very good. Uh, then I also got these Heidi Eye the larger fruit flies. Seems this culture may be on its way out. I was able to save I don't know, 15, 20 in this jar. They're still crawling around. I did it the same day I did this one, so they should be laying their eggs and getting to that cocoon stage. I 
any time now. Oh, also, I had set up my Raspberry Pi uh, monitor with this JFish software so that hopefully someday I'll get this uh, more configured for my system. It should be displaying temperatures down here. What's wrong with you? <laughs> come back to that a little bit. That's about all that's been going on here in the fish room. Yeah, let's go look out front. Ah, oh, here we go. The system finally came up. But right now it does show multiple thermometers. Strangely, the room temperature is always colder than the tanks. Tanks be 75, 76. I'll have to check where that room temperature thermometer is. But it can do pretty stuff like draw a graph of the temperature everywhere. You know, the room temperature on the bottom line. The bulk of the graphs right in the middle at 75. What's this one? One tank low, one tank higher. But it's a pretty nifty little thing. Hopefully, I'll be able to use it to schedule cleaning out matten filters and uh, moving babies around. It's got like, uh, like filter status here, and when it's they're due to be changed, I've only put in a couple Manton filters for now, but it can do more with adjusting your lights, turning them on and off, various intervals, and I've got to look more into some of that, but that's coming up later. Also, on Fluval's website, they have a page where you can enter your address, get on their mailing list, and they'll send you a sampling here of the Bug Bites new food. It's a pretty good size uh, pack, half an ounce, but it's free food. Okay, out here in the ponds, the guppies have been doing pretty well. Starting to color up. How old are these? They're two months old. So yeah, they still got a little ways to finish coloring up. They seemed to stop eating the algae. They cleared all this off and now it's right back again. Hmm. White clouds. Nothing new. Haven't seen any fry, but otherwise the Java moss is going good. Let's see, in this tank, doing pretty well. Oh, there were, there was, I don't know, 10 or so for hours. There's one. Fry still alive and doing well. Mm. Yeah. 
even more fry. More fry being born in this tank. So that's good. And this is one with pretty much no cover but the bucket. And, well, yeah, still fry in here. Females doing good. So all around, getting good progress. So like I was saying, it's been a slow month. I didn't sell too many things on Aquavid this month with the hot weather. I took off a couple of weeks, I think, and not as many people buying. The shrimp have done well with the one auction. I restricted myself on the number of fish I got, only two. But I did pick up another tank, 55 gallon, and some other odds and ends. So I wound up spending the money I made at that auction. Spent a little more, actually. Uh, for the next month, I think we've got one auction again. And then keep going on aqua bid and fin bid. Or, yeah, fin bids. The hidden out Products new auction site. I'm gonna list there. I think I'll list the gold and gold marble angels here. They're about quarter size now, so they should ship pretty easily. I'll have links in the description if I remember. Uh, I also got a new shirt. Got this one and the fish fam one. Um, uh, I think that's. What else been going on? The flies. Hopefully get those cranking up here a little faster for more easy food. And I'll try to put out a video this month of using the Rapashi. I got Superfly Rapashi. I think it's going to work better than the homemade stuff I had gotten with my first set of the Melanogaster fruit flies. Alright, see you next time. Oh, one other thing. Well, just after talking about the uh, koi babies, why they weren't quite turning orange yet, I, uh, after shutting off the camera, I stood up and looked at the parents right here. And the female is that light, just barely orange on the top of her head. And I'm guessing that's why none of them have an orange body that her genes, I guess were more prominent, or however it is that they uh, come up with the orange. So, i um, got the high coverage koi females there, I'm going to put with that male, and see, I may wait, she's due to play eggs any day now, it's been what, 12 days, 10 days? So yeah, she's due any time I may let her have one more batch of eggs, then take those out and uh, hatch them in the jars before I do the swap, and then give the new females, whichever one I choose, to the male, give them a few weeks to cozy up, and hopefully they'll be laying some better orange koi angels.